so let's just recap what we've covered. We've covered really the the evolution of cancer care to where genomics is the way to go. Getting getting that information is just understood to be a critical piece of making sure you're on the right treatment. We've talked about how many different genes there are that can be identified or, or slight little variations on that um, and how many different treatments already exist and more are coming out all the time for various of these. We've talked about how uh, on oncologist and no human, not just oncologist, has the time to actually research all this for any one person. Um, and uh, the question I have then is, okay, so now we have, we have this um, bioinformatics automa uh, automated intelligence program that, and you're saying, um, the intake. So let's talk about that is what I'm trying to get to here. So uh, let's say I'm Mrs. Smith and uh, and I want to use CureMatch. Can I do that myself or does my doctor have to do it? Um, so I think um, we prefer that it be done through the physician. Okay. Um, and uh, what uh, the input we need is um, whatever tests have been done. Okay. Right. Because the, what you're saying is, I guess that's what I'm trying to get to with the intake. So folks, um, certainly we can help with this. Your doctor can help with this. And because there's information from the genomic testing that needs to be inputted. You kind of need to have a bit more knowledge than the layperson might have in order to make sure you're entering that data accurately. Is that really what you're getting at? I, I think so. I think it's best if, um, and also we want to have all the data, um, right. all the data, yes. all the different genomic tests that have been done. Right. Um, we would prefer the more data that we get in from what testing has been done, um, the more you can hit that bullseye. Right. Uh, so yeah. that, so a lot of people feel like when there's more than one test done, it's, it's too complex. It makes it even com more complicated. For us, it makes it even better. Yes. The more data that we have, the better, the better our reports. Um, but, but we're set up to really generate the reports pretty automatically. Um, the system is extremely sophisticated. And um, what I think, um, I, again, I don't think human beings could process this data. It doesn't uh, sound like it, not with those numbers of, of possible permutations. And why should you? Uh, really, because the the cost of this test is about fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, this is U.S. Uh, it's U.S. dollars. Yes, just double checking as a Canadian, always hopeful. Uh, so fifteen hundred U.S. folks, um, and uh, really for all the uh, in my experience with how much time it can otherwise take. And as you say, you can still never cover all the bases that your program could if you're trying to research all of the genes that turned up in some of your testing. Um, you know, uh, certainly it's a day or two, isn't it, for your program to work its magic once the data gets inputted. It's quite speedy. Uh, we usually return the return the reports in uh, about 48 hours. Um, actually, we can generate the reports much faster than that, but we cross check everything that we do to make, make sure. Um, well, lives that, are on the line, so it's worth being extra careful, isn't it? Yes, but we, we usually turn it over in about 48 hours for okay. patients. Right. So if, if as a cancer patient, you're thinking uh, or you're kind of you've educated yourself to the point of understanding the value of genetic testing, molecular analysis to, to help inform your oncologist treatment decisions. CureMatch is a way, it, so if we think about general uh, genetic testing or molecular analysis is getting you in the ballpark, and then you have this program that's going to take all the data from the ballpark, plus, as Dr. Kurzweil was saying, information about, you know, do, are you missing a kidney? Do you have high blood pressure? What are some other chronic health concerns that might influence whether you would be a good match for certain treatment or whether your doctor would feel comfortable prescribing that for you? All of these things you can enter into the program and that gets factored into the recommendations that are made. 
Yeah, so we, we factor in multiple uh, levels of information. And um, we actually, I mentioned that if there's 300 drugs in oncology, uh, that there's 4.5 million three drug combinations. Obviously nobody can do that in their head or at least nobody that I know, but, mm -hmm. um, but and, and we can actually calculate a score for all 4.5 million, but usually people don't want that. They want um, the top three, or we actually give the top nine uh, possible combinations. Uh, but if uh, the doctor or the patient then has questions and wants to look at any combination, uh, we, we can generate a score for mm -hmm. any one of the 4.5 million combinations. That's the exciting thing too, is, is because it's a bioinformatics program and not an individual, you can you can update we've had that experience too when we tested this out um you know with alex giving you a few variables and then realizing he wanted to add a few more and uh, well i realize that's not ideal and you want all the variables up front the first time around um the point is if you get new data down the road you can add that in and the program can update uh what's been done or Absolutely. what's going to be best for you 